Good day everyone, I am Jumakris Mendes, the presenter of Group 3's Measurement. Dimensional Analysis So we will convert the following given here. First, we will convert the 42.33 meters per 2 centimeters. In order to get the 42.33 meters to centimeters, we will use 42.33 meters times 100 centimeters over 1 meters. And it will be equal to 4,233 centimeters. So the second one is we will convert the 63 centimeters to meters. So we will use this formula which is 63 centimeters times 1 meters over 100 centimeters. So, we will get the total of 0 0.63 meters. In number 3, in order to, con in order to convert the 0 0.570 kilograms to grams, we will use the 0 0.50 kilograms times 1,000 grams per 1 kilogram. This equals to 500 grams. So, in order to convert 3 liters to millimeters, we will use 3 liters times 1,000 millimeters over 1 liters and it will be equal to 3,000 millimeters. So for our conversion unit, base quantity. In every base quantity, there is a symbol. For example, here in length, as you can see, it has symbol. Mass, the symbol of mass is small letter m, the time is small letter T, the electric current is small letter I or A line. So for our temperature, big letter T, amount of substance amount of substance is small letter N and luminous intensity it looks like a IV. So for our base unit. So in every base unit, there is also a symbol. For meter, is small letter M. Kilogram, is small letter Kg. Second, is small letter S. Ampere, the big letter A. Kelvin, a big letter K. Mole, is small letter MOL. Candela, is small letter C and D. So, for our length, SA our SI unit is equal to meter or M. So for every one kilometer is equal to 0 0.62137 miles or MI. For every one miles or MI is equal to 5,280 feet or for every one MI is equal to 1.6093 km. For every one meter this equals to 1.0936 YD, or yards. For every 1 inches, there is a 2.54 centimeters exactly. For every 1 cm, is equals to 0 0.3937 inches. For every 1 angstrom, is equals to 10 to the power of negative 10 m. So for our mass, the SI unit here is kilogram or kg. So for every 1 kg, there's a 2.20461b. For every 1, 1b is equal to 0 0.0454 kilograms or 16oc. For every 1 amu, is equal to 1.660 5402 times 10 raised to negative 24 grams. For our temperature, our SI unit here is equal to Kelvin. So for every 0 Kelvin, there's a negative 773, 273.15 degrees Celsius. Or negative 459.67 Fahrenheit. So for every K is equal to in order to get the K, we will use the formula K is equals to degrees Celsius plus 273.15. So, degrees Celsius is equals to 
parenthesis 5 over 9 times Fahrenheit minus 32 degrees. So, in order to get the Fahrenheit is equals to 9 uh, parenthesis 9 over 5 times degrees Celsius parenthesis plus 32 degrees. So, for en every energy, the, our SI unit here is Joule or J. For every 1 Joule, there's a 1 kilogram minus m squared over s squared. For every 1 J is equal to 0 0.239 cal or 1 C times 1 V. For every 1 cal, there's a 4.184 joules. For every 1 EV, there's a 1.602 times 10 raised to negative 19 joules. For our pressure derived, our SI unit here is Pascal or PA. For every 1 PA, there's a 1N over M squared or 1KG over M minus S squared. For every 1 atmosphere, there's a there's a 101.325 kPa or 760 or 14.70 lb per inches squared. One bar is equals to 100 kPa. So for our volume, our SI unit here is cubic meter. For every 1 liter, there's, there's a 10 raised to negative 3 m cubed. There's a, or 1 dm cube or 10 cube centimeters cube or cubic centimeter. For every 1L, there's also 1.0567 qt. For every 1 gallon, there's a 4 qt or 300 point, I mean 3.7854 liters. For every one centimeter, or every one cubic centimeter, there's a one millimeter. For every one inches cube, there is, or in or cubic inches, there's sixteen point four cubic centimeters. Scientific notation. So, scientific notation is a conversion of standard notation to scientific notation. So, our scientific notation is a shorter method to express large number, such as first, 1,234,000. We can convert that into 1.234 times 10 raised to 6. So, here in our second example, we have 456 million thousand. 456 million. We can convert that into 4.56 times 10 raised to 8. So here, in number 3, we have 0 0.0000345. We can convert that into 3.45 times 10 raised to negative 5. So for our fourth example, we have 0 0.0000000089. We can convert that into 8.9 times 10 raised to negative 9. What is volume? Volume is the amount of space an object takes up. It is measured in 3D as it can be measured n in cubic centimeters. So in every volume in every volume we have different formulas. Like here in cube, rectangular prism, sphere, right circular cylinder, right circular cone, and right square pyramid. They have all different formulas. For our volume, we have different examples here. First is find the volume of given box with a mass of 972 grams and a density of 4 grams per cubic centimeter. So, in, so we have the given here. The mass, which is equals to 972 grams, and density is equals to 4 grams per cubic centimeter. So we will use the formula here. Um, volume is equals to density, I, I mean 
mass rather over density since we're getting the volume. So we will substitute the given here. So volume is equal to 972 grams over 4 grams per cubic centimeter. And our final answer will be 243 cubic centimeter. So we also have here a one example which is Wood has a density of 1.52 grams per cubic centimeter with a mass of 48.9 grams. What is the volume of the wood? So we have the given here density is equal to 1.52 grams per cubic centimeter. Mass is equal to 48.9 grams. So we will use the formula here. Since we are finding the volume, we will use the formula volume is equal to mass over density. So we will substitute the given here. So volume is equal to 48.9 grams over 1.52 grams per cubic centimeter. And our final answer and our final answer here will become volume is equal to 32.17 cubic centimeter. So here is our last example for our volume. Given a bow with a mass of 823 grams with a density of 5 grams per cubic centimeter. What is the volume of the bow? Given density is equal to 5 grams over cubic centimeters is equal to mass is equal to 820 grams. So we will use the formula volume is equal to mass over density since we're finding the volume we will substitute we will substitute the for the given here in our formula and it will become volume is equal to 820 grams over 5 grams per cubic centimeters so it will become volume is equal to 164 cubic centimeters what is density the density is the amount of matter in a given space. So for our density formula, density is equal to mass over volume. And here it is indicated the different formulas when we're finding each when we're finding density, mass, and volume. When finding the density, density is equal to mass plus volume. I I mean Density is equal to mass divide volume. And if we're finding the mass, we will use the formula mass is equal to density times volume. And if we're finding the volume, we will use the volume is equal to mass over, over density. So for our density, we have three different examples. First example is, a tungsten has a volume of 18.9 cubic centimeters with a mass of 368 grams. Calculate the density of the tungsten. So our given here is equals, is equals to mass is equals to 368 grams and our volume is 18.9 cubic centimeters. Since we're finding the density formula, I mean since we're finding the density, our formula that we will use here is density is equal to mass over volume. So we will substitute the given here. So it will become density is equal to 368 grams over 18.9 cubic centimeters. <coughs> and our final answer here will become 49.47 grams per cubic centimeter. I mean 19.47 grams per cubic centimeter rather. So our second example here is given 18 grams of logs with a volume of 9 cubic centimeters, find the density. So our given here is mass is equal to 18 grams and our volume is 9 cubic centimeter. We will use the formula density is equal to mass over volume. We will substitute the given here, which will become density is equal to 18 grams over 9 cubic centimeter. So, our final answer here is density is equal to 2 grams per cubic centimeter. So, for our third example, find the density of a chocolate 
cake with the with the 450 grams of mass and 200 and 2400 cubic centimeter so our given here is mass is equal to 450 grams and for our mass and for our volume it is 2400 cubic centimeters so we will use the formula density is equal to mass over volume and we will substitute the given which will become density is equal to 450 grams over 2400 cubic centimeters it will become density is equal to 0 0.186 grams per cubic centimeter so what is mass mass is a direct measure of the amount of matter in an object it is usually reported in grams and kilograms but mass has different uh, unit but it is usually expressed in grams or g and kilograms or kg so we also have a different example here in mass so the first example is given a glass filled with substance that have a density of 5 grams per cubic centimeters and the volume of the sample given is 23 cubic centimeters find the mass so for our given uh, 5 grams i mean density is equals to 5 grams over cubic centimeters our volume is equals to 23 centimeter 23 cubic centimeters so our formula that we will use here is equals to mass is equals to then is equals to density times volume so we will substitute the form the given here it will become mass is equals to 5 grams per cubic centimeter times 23 cubic centimeters is it will become mass is equals to 115 grams and that is our final answer for our example number one so for our example number two the liquid sample has a density has a density of 1.8 grams per millimeters and a volume of 2.7 millimeters what is the mass so our given here is density is equals to 1.8 grams per mole our volume here is 2.7 millimeters so here we will get the mass so we will use the formula mass is equals to density times volume so we will substitute the given in our formula and it will become mass is equals to 2.7 millimeters times 1.8 grams per mole it will become mass is equals to 4.86 grams and that is our final answer we have a last uh, example here in our mass so a ball pen has a density of 4 grams per cubic centimeter the volume of the ball pen is 14.8 cubic centimeters what is the mass of the ball pen in kilograms so our given here is equals to density is equals to 4 grams per cubic centimeters and for our volume it is 14.8 cubic centimeters our mass here I mean since we will get the mass we will use the formula mass is equals to density times volume so we will substitute the formula it will become 14.8 cubic centimeters times 4 grams per cubic centimeters it will become 14.8 times 4 grams is equals to 59.2 grams and we will divide it into 100 so 59.2 over 100 so our mass here so our mass here will become 0 0.592 kilograms and that is our final answer so for our temperature what is temperature the temperature is a measure of how hot or i mean of how hot or cold something is the device used for measuring temperature is called thermometer absolute zero kelvin celsius fahrenheit so for the kelvin the absolute zero of kelvin is zero while the absolute zero of celsius is negative 273.15 degrees 
while the absolute zero of Fahrenheit is equal to negative 459.67 degrees. So the water freezes at Kelvin at 273.15, while in Celsius the water freezes at 0. Point, I mean 0 degrees, while at Fahrenheit the water freezes to 30, I mean 32 degrees. So the water boils at Kelvin is at 373, while the in Celsius the water boils at 100 degrees. While in Fahrenheit, the water boils at 212 degrees. Temperature. The common temperature scales are degrees F or Fahrenheit, degrees C or Celsius, K or Kelvin. So here are the temperature conversion formulas. In order to convert Celsius into Kelvin, you will use the formula Kelvin is equals to Celsius plus 273.15 In order to convert Kelvin into Celsius, you will use the formula C is equals to K minus 273.15 In order to convert Fahrenheit into Celsius, you will use the formula Celsius is equals to parentheses of F minus 32 times 5 over 9 Celsius to, in order to convert Celsius into Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit is equals to C, parenthesis 9 over 5, parenthesis plus 32. In order to convert Fahrenheit into Kelvin, you will use the formula K is equals to parenthesis of F minus 32 times 5 over 9 plus 273.15. Lastly, in order to convert Kelvin into Fahrenheit, you will use the formula F or Fahrenheit is equals to parenthesis of K minus 273.15 times 9 over 5 plus 32. Here are the different examples. First, in order to convert Fahrenheit into Celsius. The example is the body temperature of a cat is 101.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Find this temperature in Celsius. So the given here is first, the Fahrenheit is equals to 101.5 Kelvin. And we are finding the Celsius. So the formula that we will use in order to convert the Fahrenheit into Celsius, we will use the formula degrees Celsius is equals to parenthesis of degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 degrees. I mean 32 times 5 over 9. So for our solution, we will convert our given to our formula and it will become degrees Celsius is equals to a parenthesis of 101.5 minus 32 times 5 over 9. And we will solve that and we will get the answer degrees Celsius is equals to 38.61 degrees Celsius. And that is our final answer. So Celsius to Fahrenheit. Dry ice is negative 78.5 degrees Celsius. What is the temperature in Fahrenheit? So our given here is degrees Celsius is equals to negative 78.5 degrees Celsius. And we're finding the, the, the R Fahrenheit. So we will use the formula um, degrees Fahrenheit is equals to degrees Celsius, parenthesis 9 over 5 plus 32. So we will convert the formula, I mean we will convert the given into formula. So our solution will become degrees Fahrenheit is equals to negative 78.5, parenthesis of 9 over 5 plus 32. And our final answer will become degrees Fahrenheit is equals to negative 109.3 Fahrenheit. And that is our final answer. So we have an example here too in Fahrenheit to Kelvin. So for our example, convert body temperature of 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit into Kelvin. 
So, our given here is degrees Fahrenheit is equals to 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit and we're finding our Kelvin. Our formula that we will use here is K is equals to parentheses of degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 over 9 plus 273.15. So, for our solution, since we're um, substituting the given in our formula, we will use K is equals to the parentheses of 98.6 minus 32 times 5 over 9 plus 273.15. We will get the final answer once we solve that into K is equals to 310.15 Kelvin. And that is, that will become our final answer for that problem. So, we have also example here, Kelvin to Fahrenheit. A house has a, term, has a term, thermostat set to 292K or Kelvin. What is the temperature in Fahrenheit? So our given here is K is equal to 292 Kelvin and we're finding our Fahrenheit. So our formula that we will use here is degrees Fahrenheit is equal to parentheses of K minus 273.15 times 5 over 9 plus 32. So, we will um, substitute the given in our formula and it will become degrees Fahrenheit is equal to the parentheses of 292 minus 32 times 9 over 5 plus 273.15. So, our answer, once we solve that, will become degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 741.15 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is our final answer for this problem. So we have, a, we have an example here, Celsius to Kelvin. So our example is convert the temperature of scalding water, 54 degrees Celsius into degree Kelvin. So our given here is um, Celsius is equal to 54 degrees Celsius and we're, finding, and we're finding our Kelvin. So our formula that we will use here is K or Kelvin is equals to Celsius plus 273.15. So once we uh, substitute our given in our formula, um, we will get K is equals to 54 degrees Celsius plus 273.15. Once we solve that, um, we will get the K Kelvin is equals to 227.15 Kelvin. So, we have also an example here, um, Kelvin to Celsius. Convert 300K into degrees Celsius. Given, K is equals to 300 Kelvin and we're finding our Celsius here. So, we will use the formula uh, degrees Celsius is equals to K minus 273.15. So, we will substitute the given here in our formula and we will get the solution um, degrees Celsius is equals to 300K plus 273.15 and once we solve that, we will get the final answer degrees Celsius is equals to 527.15 degrees Celsius and that will become our final answer. So for our group pledge, the members of group 3 accept responsibility for their roles in ensuring the integrity of the work submitted. That's all. Thank you.